We should never forget how young they were. My father, Stefan Gold, was the youngest unit commander in Mossad. David Peretz had his 29th birthday while on the mission. When my mother crossed through the checkpoint into Soviet-controlled East Berlin, she was only 25. They'd had the courage to confront an unimaginable evil. A man whose sadistic experiments left thousands, disfigured or dead, who became known by a name which defiles the annals of medicine. The Surgeon of Birkenau. Their mission had been to capture him and return him to Israel to stand trial. Instead, it ended on the streets of East Berlin. These three dared to relive Israel's greatest nightmare, her greatest pain. And in the simple act of facing the monster, they helped to vanquish it. This book is dedicated to my inspiration, my mother, Rachel Singer. Mother, mother, I'm so very proud to be your daughter. David Peretz. Yes. You were expecting me. Yes, I was expecting you. Would you come with me, sir? Let's go.
When are you going to stop? Stop what? The smoking. I gave up alcohol. What more do you want? Okay, soon. I hope so. Do it for your grandson. I've marked the place. Perhaps from chapter 11. Good. Thank you. You must be very proud. Yes, I am. It, oh, it's a great achievement. I'm very proud of her. And I'm sure you were invaluable in the research. Actually, my mother withstood all interrogation. My father was the talker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only journalist in Israel she won't speak to. You <laughs> <laughs> thought he couldn't come. Oh, sit down. Slow it down. My God, there must be election season. Papa, you came. I came. Mm. Rachel. Stefan? Okay, now, so, you're the expert. Now, maybe you can tell me something. Who is the handsome devil on this cover? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it went well. She was wonderful. Oh, that's good. Good, good. That's very good. I just want to thank you all for coming to celebrate the launch of this wonderful book. And I'm sure we are all particularly thrilled to have two of the heroes of the story here with us tonight. And even more thrilled that one of them has agreed to read for us, Miss Rachel Singer. On the evening of the 31st of December, it began to rain more heavily. So isolated had they become from the outside world that it was only when she looked out of the window that Rachel remembered that it was New Year's Eve. There were fireworks in the sky, and everyone else in Berlin was celebrating. 